So before we start the word problem with this, there is just something we need to know about triangles. And it is just that if you have any triangle, the sum of all three of the angles on the inside always equal to 180 degrees. All right, so we're gonna break this up into a, a couple of different pieces. The first statement is just a fact. Two angles of a triangle have the same measure. Now, whenever I start these, I just always like to go ahead and draw a picture. It just helps me. And it may or may not to be to scale, I don't know. Now, whenever they say two angles have the same measure, I'm gonna label both of those angles in the triangle X. Now, let's look at this second statement. The second statement says that the third angle is 48 greater than each of the other two. Well, the word greater is the same thing as meaning uh, more than or to add. So that means this other angle down here is just going to be X plus 48. Now, all I have to do is add all three of those up. And going back to what we were doing with the consecutive numbers, that's 1x, 2x, and 3x. And you can write all of that out if you want. It's just x plus x plus x plus 48 is equal to 180. And again, all I did was just add the three x's together. Each of them are understood to have a coefficient of 1. So that gives me that I have 3x plus 48 is equal to 180. Now I have to go through and solve for x. I subtract 48 from both sides. And then I have 3x is equal to 132. I divide both sides by 3. And that tells me that x is equal to 44. But with all of these angles in a triangle, they're going to ask you for the smallest angle, the largest angle, or they might ask you for all of them. So remember, in this question, this was angle 1, was 44. I had a second angle that was the same value, so that would also be 44. Both of those are the two smaller answers. And then the third answer, I come back up here and I have to plug it in to uh, that third equation, which was x plus 48. So to get that, what I have to do is add 40. I have to add 44 plus the 48. And again, I'm getting that 48 from where I put it into the original piece. And that gives me that the larger triangle is 92 degrees. So 44 and 92 are the two, is the smallest and largest of that triangle. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the triangle that we have here. Um, you can draw the picture or just write down that you, the fact that you know that you have angle one, angle two, and angle three. Now, I know that one angle in the triangle has a measure that is three times as large as the smallest. Now, interestingly enough, as soon as you see something defined two different ways, this actually gives us two values. So first of all, before I can say something is the smallest, I have to label it. So let's call that smallest one x. Now, let's cross that out and say, all right, since I know that the smallest, we renamed that, this, that smallest value we said was just x, right? So now I can redo it and find out what angle two is. Let me read that first sentence again. One angle in a triangle has a measure that is three times as large as x. So that means angle two, I'm going to go ahead and call 3x. And then the last angle is 
the measure of the third angle is 10 more than the smallest? Well, the smallest is still x, so that means angle 3 is going to be x plus 10. Now, I take all of those and I find the sum of all of them, and I know the sum is equal to 180. So I just add x plus 3x, and one more x gives me 5x. So this is 5x plus 10 is equal to 180. I subtract 10 from both sides. I have 5x is equal to 170. I divide both sides by 5. And I'm left with x is equal to 34. So that tells me the first answer is equal to 34 degrees. To find angle 2, I just take my 34 and plug it in for x. So 3 times 34 is equal to 100, 102 degrees. And then my last one, again, I just take that 34 and plug it in for x. 34 plus 10 gives me the fact that that is 44 degrees. So depending upon what they ask you, I have the smallest angle, the largest angle, and the angle in the middle.